bread charge of 25 euros, a glass of wine for 30 and a sun bed for 200. If I tell you that these are the prices in Greece, you wouldn't necessarily think that this is a cheap country to visit, right? However, if you go just one hour away from most of the famous touristy spots like Mykonos or Santorini, you will pay a lot less. And I'm here to tell you exactly how expensive is Greece. Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi. However, recently I'm more of your Haukideki friend Vasi because as you can see we are by the seaside and if you want to see more videos from Greece or of course from other cool destinations don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. And let's start by looking at the prices of the flights. Of course, this really depends where you're coming from, but I know that most of you are from the UK and from the US. So from the UK, you can get a round trip flights for around 100 quid, which uh, might not be exactly at the most convenient timing or at the best airport, but this is still possible. And if you're coming from the US, the price would really go up. But I saw that if you come even at the high season like August, you can find flights which cost around 600 to 700 dollars. Now, the prices of accommodation really vary depending on your location, on the season, how many people you're traveling with, and if you're looking at very expensive at luxury accommodation or not. But as a general uh, rule of thumb, you can expect to pay around 60 to 70 euros per person per night, but only if you're splitting this with at least one more person. If you look at more like budget options, this can also really go down to like 30 to 40 quid. Here it is. It's like a cone and it's filo pastry and there's like so much freaking filling. I love that. It's really really full and oh my god I can't wait to try it. And it was only 1 euro 30 so I like that. This is the best thing I have ever had. And now that we have changed location next to this beautiful flower, let me quickly run you through the food prices here in Greece. So the cheapest type of food that you can find, it is either at the bakery, for example, a nice pina cupita or any sort of uh, like baked good, or a gyros. This would usually vary from like two to four euros. The next ones are more about restaurants and, and the more kind of average price restaurant you can expect to pay a glass of wine like 3 to 4 euros, uh, a bottle of water like 150 to 2 euros, a Greek salad would be anywhere from 6 to 9, a Greek main dish with meat from 8 to 12 or like even 13. Uh, seafood uh, is usually above 10 euros, so between 15 and 20. Here you can see also more in detail the rest of the prices. By the way, a nice tip, uh, it is the rule of thumb of a Greek salad. So if you go to a place and you see that the Greek salad is around 5 to 6 euros, this would usually mean that the restaurant is cheap. And if it is above 8 euros, 8 euros 50, you should definitely expect to pay more than the average Average restaurant and if it is more than like 9 or 10 it is definitely overpriced this is the Greek salad rule of thumb you feel a little bit rush of adrenaline uh -huh. when I was on top I was like oh fuck what they actually end up on some part of the rock uh -huh. but I mean of course it was all great all right and the water is super clear 
if you uh, guys visit Athens and uh, you visit the nice museums in, in there, they cost like between 10 to 20 euros. If you do like any sort of uh, land tours with locals, they're around uh, from 20 up to 50 euros. And uh, the boat tours, which I really like, are usually around 30 to 35 and maybe like even 50 or 60 if it is for the whole day. And I actually really suggest you renting a boat, which is uh, what we did and we went to the Blue Lagoon. I will have this video linked in here because it was one of the best experiences that we ever did here in Greece. One cool activity which you can do, it is called island hopping. It is basically going from one island to the other, especially it is really famous uh, in the Cyclades. But keep in mind that this activity can be quite pricey. by the way to take this amazing view so I'm actually stepping on here but be very careful so you don't step actually into the house of someone because I saw there were a lot of places where it's written like please don't step on our home so if you like over tourism here can be a problem at any other rear As you can see here on the map, Greece has 13 regions, but I feel like most of us are seeing photos from like one or two of them, like usually Mykonos, Santorini or Zakynthos. And actually these are literally the most expensive places. So I would say the more we have heard about the place or we have seen it in social media, the more expensive it is. And as I guys told you, like Greece is definitely a place where you need to rent a car, but if you feel more comfortable, you can also rent a moped because the cost, it is half than what you would pay for a car, but it is definitely more comfortable than actually using the public transport, which is not always the most reliable in here. Hello, Ben. Oh, hello, hello, Curious Gang. I'm, I'm here just to say hi. And if you're young and you have the energy for this, another way of like saving money actually for a hotel for one night, it is to book the overnight ferries. And in this way, you no, can both like travel. Honestly, yeah, Ben is no. not a big fan, but if I were alone, I would definitely do this. The ferry cost, it is lower if you book it overnight. Another tip is if you're visiting like Athens, Crete, or another place with a lot of tourist attractions, it is definitely worth it buying a combined ticket because really those have reduced prices. And my last tip for you, it is not to come to Greece in August or like end of July I would say because this is the time when most people come in here so it will be crowded but also prices are a lot higher than like in June beginning of July or September and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one love you all bye